Hi, I'm with Rogelio. Uh, he likes to call by Robert sometimes, but I like the Rogelio name. Sounds kind of cool. And so uh, he's from Los Angeles, and he's never been to a chiropractor before. He was told when he was a kid he had uh, scoliosis from a medical doctor, and he's been suffering ever since. I think he's a little scared of chiropractic. I mean, not a little bit, a lot scared. And so uh, the good thing, and this is one of the great things I love about my chiropractic channel, is that, yes, I want you guys to see what I do out there. I want you to see how chiropractic is awesome, how it helps so many people, and how true chiropractic is really a miracle. But this guy sees my channel and goes, you know something? I watch so many videos, I'm like, he gains some trust about the profession a little bit. And he gains enough trust to reach out and do something outside his box. And so he's here. So I'm happy for him because we're going to help him a lot today. Uh, well, my lower back, I uh, seem to like, when I get on my toes, I lean forward. I have very bad attitude. Um, can't sleep at all. Tell us about your sleep, sir. Well, I have to... Uh, drink self-medicate to, <laughs> to pass out and sleep and pass out so anxiety also lots of anxiety I'm sure lots of depression set in over over, over the years off and on I don't know how much but it doesn't even matter we already know it's there tell us about your low back pain well it's like really sharp uh, they really can't really touch me on my back because it hurts a lot who can't touch you anybody anybody like, yeah like massage either, therapist massage anything. or anything like that can't even touch you It'll hurt a gotcha. lot. And you have pain running down your leg too, right? I'll, I'll shoot down my gotcha. leg. Gotcha. Uh, you have headaches every day? Yes, sir. How, uh, what, how bad is it right now? How's your headache right now? Uh, well, I, right now, it's starting to get a little bad, uh, but eventually during the day, it'll get really, really, really bad where I have to take like 10, 15 minutes. Uh, heartburn, three to four times a week. So every other day has heartburn, right? How long has that been going on? How many years is that? Uh, since 2005. 2005. Carpal tunnel, numbness in the fingers? Yeah. Gotcha. Oh, tell us about the earwax. Oh, uh, well, I, I have a lot of earwax on my ear, mostly on the side. Yeah. Uh, Pinwheel, we're going to test his ability to feel sensation from side to side of the body. Intact, it should be equal. His entire body is different. I'll let you guys see it, okay? So let's start with the neck. Oops. What does that feel like? Uh, I feel less on this side. Less on that side? I feel less. I didn't even feel it. Okay. I felt that one less. So all less over here. Yeah. And then tell them we did your leg also. We're not going to do it right now because we don't need to do it. But the whole right leg was like less too, right? Yes. And so when we work on them, this is going to change. It's going to change instantly. So when you guys ask, how does a neck adjustment do so much work? Because I worked neurologic on the core of the system. I already. How much pain in your back? That's a six. Six. Go ahead and lean backwards. How about that? That's a seven. That's a seven. Uh, look down the floor. How about that? That's a five. Look at the ceiling. That's a seven. Now squat to the ground. Tell us about your knee and your back. I really can't do it that much. It hurts. And what was the back pain on that one? That's like about a seven. And what about the knee? Go do it again for the knee instead of the knee. That's a six. That's a six. The knee and the back, you said a little, right? Yeah. Now last one, guys. He's going to stand up on his toes. Tell us five seconds. Watch his balance. He bounces all over the place. Tell us about your foot pain. Uh, it hurts a lot. And and where exactly? On the, on the top or yeah, the bottom? On the heel of the top. The top right here? Yeah. Gotcha. And a scale of 10, what is that? That will be like a 7. Gotcha. And I lean forward a lot. Or These things are so bad now, yeah. I just got to do something. Yeah, and then, you know, uh, in my personal life, it's been affecting me, so kind of want to see if it helps. Yeah, it'll, it's going to affect everything. It's going to be so much better, but I'm glad you're taking a chance, okay? The x-rays, not as scoliotic as you would think. Um, definitely a ton of damage in the neck. A ton of damage in the neck. That's how much Helio works. That's his phone dinging all the time. And so, the problem is high reverse curve. Atlas is completely chewed up. You can see that on the x-ray. I'll point those arrows to it. Uh, some different imbalances here, but the scoliosis is not nearly as bad as the medical quack that he went to years ago told me it was. Did I say that wrong? Is that going to get me in trouble? We got a 16 millimeter right imbalance and 11 degree scoliosis. Here we have eight millimeter short right leg and six degree curve with some hip rotation. Here we have highly worn atlas, arthritis in the neck and large EOP. And the last one we have a mild, very mild compression fracture L1. Yeah. Oh, Good. What was that like? Her a little bit. Relax, where you go. Good boy, there you go. Oh, oh, oh. That 
hurt a little more. That one really hurt. Tell me what you think about how a neck adjustment affects a low back adjustment, a low back pain so amazingly differently. I want your guys' opinion about this. Leave some comments down there. I'd love to hear what you guys think. How is it possible? I'm just gonna lift Rahili up here, help him up because he's a little dizzy and I'm telling him not to twist and turn or he'll undo my work. A little so, dizzy. A little dizzy? Yeah. Good, and you know I say that in the videos, what do I say? Uh, it's a good thing, right? Yeah. Because I'm changing your balance so you're actually feeling better balance which feels odd to you. I feel like my eyes are really open. Brighter, right? Yeah. Yeah. Just showing a little recalibration of the spine, spread it out from head to toe. I feel like a little bit I'm walking more straight. Um, we can see that walking down the hall. We can see it easily. Go ahead. Um, I mean, right now I feel a little, I still feel a little dizzy, but it's going away slowly. Yeah, I can see that. Okay, sorry guys, we should have him walk more because the dizziness is gonna force his body to change even more, but I want you guys to see it real time, what's going on, stand over here. And so we're gonna go through the range of motion we did earlier, just take your time, don't go fast, bend over, touch your toes, please. Knee straight. Okay. Ha 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 ha, he went so quick. <laughs> go ahead and do it again, tell me the pain in your back. And you guys, look how much he bent over that time. That was a seven minute ago, what is it now? No okay. pain. <laughs> You're screwing up me, right? Mm. You're trying to get more hits from me on YouTube? No. Okay, go back like this. Uh, that one's a, a, a three, but... A three, but it was an eight or eight. Yeah, or it was. Right? It was hurt it before. Okay, look at the floor, please. That was a five. What is that now? It's like a two. Look at the ceiling. I forgot it was a six or something like that. No pain. No pain. Now let's do the fun ones here. Squat to the ground, please. To go all the way down now. Mm -hmm. That's what she said. <laughs> so um, spread your feet a little bit. Let's do it again. Tell us how much pain you have in your back. Let's get some numbers here. And your knee. No pain at all. And what about the knee? Nothing. You sure the knee? Because well, it just I have a little bit, but it's nothing compared to what I used to yeah. have. So stand up on your toes. Five seconds. I could, I'm not moving that forward or anything. And what about the pain in your foot? The five out of ten pain in your foot. I don't have it. Yeah. So you guys, again, I'd love to hear your comments because you guys don't believe what you're seeing. This is real time, unedited footage. <laughs> he probably doesn't even believe either, but he's here feeling it, right? Yeah. So uh, a little bit better so far, right? Let's check your dermatologist here. Okay. So uh, here, let's try the neck first. It's the same. It's the same. I still feel like the same feels good. Same? Well, now I, get, I have a feeling on both sides. I feel the same. Okay, so are you screwing again with this? Because this looks like it's there's no possible way. I mean, that this could possibly fix so quickly, right? All I did was do what to you, sir? Just in my neck. Okay, so what do you think of this experience? Good. Uh, it's not as painful as it seems. Good, I love that. Are there um, any other first impressions for them to understand? If you're watching you, what would you want to know if you're standing here? If you're sta if you're watching, what would you want that guy to tell you? Anything that would make you feel better about coming in? Just come with an open mind. Um, you know, it's for your own good. Uh, and not to be afraid. Not to be afraid. You were very afraid, but it was a lot easier than you thought, right? Yeah. Well, I mean, it, it does hurt, but it's for your own good. It doesn't hurt as bad. Uh, can't wait for tomorrow. Go Rams. Go Rams. Go Rams. Come on, Cup. Catch some balls tomorrow. <laughs> Next week. Go. Bye. I, you, I just look at his face. You can see the difference. You can see how a night of sleep, how um, just one day can make such a big difference. And he's going to tell you what it is, but just look at his freaking face. Okay? Anyways, tell us, Rahelia, what is your experience like 24 hours later? Well, I feel a little bit better. Um, uh, people starting to notice that I'm standing up straight more. And what they say, they say, not that you're standing up straight, what they say you look like? That I look slimmer because I'm standing up straight. Yeah, so not only do you feel better here, but you look slimmer after an adjustment, guys. I thought that was funny. Yeah. Uh, but I feel But better. other people just, you didn't even tell them you came here, you just look different, right? Yeah. Yeah, I love that. So, and then what about your sleep last night? Uh, my sleep was good, I didn't move. Um, I usually snored a lot, and I noticed that I cut down on it. How do you know you snore? Well, they tell me. They tell me. <laughs> How many women are in bed with you or something? What no, is no, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, but uh, even it was bad sometimes that I would even snore so loud that I wake myself up. Wow. And so you already noticed your snoring went down too? Yeah. Yeah, cool. 
And then uh, we haven't had a chance to test his road rage shit yet, but that's going to come. That's forthcoming, I'm sure, soon. Mm -hmm. Because in LA traffic, you'll find a reason to get mad. And we'll see how he'll have a story for us. He'll be like, oh my God, I was going to kill this guy, but it didn't seem to bother me as much. I can't wait for that story. That'll be funny. The day is too young. The day's still young, he said. We still got days. We still got. It's just one day later. It's only a couple hours later, right? Okay, so uh, let's see anything else. Um, he's really worried about his Atlas, again, because it's really in pretty bad shape. I'll point arrows to that. But uh, anything else you want to answer? Oh, uh, no. It's Good, bad. Good. Uh, and he, he's not as nervous today, as you can see. So let's get you just around the back, please, sir. Good. Okay. Come a little closer. Good. <laughs> I mean, he's a little nervous in on that one. See his lip shake a little there? Um, so Rogelio is doing amazing. I mean, I love how people like this that have been um, scared of chiropractic in the past and seen him um, flourish. So I hope you guys like the video. See you guys next time.